That vehicle seems to be outfitted with some sort of high-energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move, and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another. Thanks, Bentley. Also, fun fact. Did you know in the near final build of this game, Sly's Lucky Charm was in a downward position like it is now on his back. However, in the final release, the Lucky Charm is facing up in the U position. My guess is that they forgot to change the final position of the Lucky Charm on Sly's back when they finished up the final version of the game for this segment. But your guess is as good as mine. But yeah, just thought I'd bring it up just for trivia reasons, I guess. How do I know all this? Well, we'll find out later. And we're also going to get it straight from the horse's mouth, too. So that's also going to be awesome. But anyways, in this area, there are no clues whatsoever, and you don't need to worry about the Master Thief Sprint. But of course, there are plenty of enemies of which you still have to take out. But thankfully, you can move around freely with the left analog stick and use the right analog stick to fire in any direction. Damn it. Well, that was lame. Eh, whatever. No need to worry about it. Alright, time for the second area, second segment. And like I said, you can move around freely with the left analog stick without, any, without having to worry about being on rails. Unless you're traversing the area by boat. In which case, you are on rails, but, uh, not really. You know what I mean? You have plenty of free range to move around. And trust me, you're gonna want to move around a lot. And I mean, like, almost all the freaking time because of all the enemies that are gonna be swarming you, especially the ghosts. Jeez, where is Luigi when you need him? I mean, really, he can suck up ghosts no problem. It would be the perfect candidate to take on Miss Ruby's minions. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Enemy took out his own friend. According to my paranormal scanner, that flowing soup is really highly charged ectoplasm. It's just got to be the source of power for those headstone generators. Thanks for the info, Bentley. But anyways, time for the next segment. The next checkpoint. I have no freaking idea what to call this thing. I have... I... was about to repeat myself. Oh, dang it. Okay, what can I talk about now? I guess I should go over the difficulty in the level, and the difficulty in this level is not too hard whatsoever. Once again, as I stated before, and I'll state it again, keep moving and keep dodging everything, and make Team Four Star Piccolo proud. Dodge everything that comes your way, even though I kind of failed to do that already, but whatever, who cares? Who cares? Who gives a crud? Let's just keep dancing. And also keep dodging freaking ghosts. Because this is because busting makes me feel good. Why are we busting ghosts? Because busting ghosts is awesome. I think this is the final area of the level too. So that's good to know. In order to Yeah, this is. I can already see the treasure key, even though it's been hanging above my head all this time. Whoops. Ah, whatever. In order to get out of here, you just need to knock out all the ghost generators. And bada bing bada boom, level is pretty much done. See, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let us get the F out of here, my boy. Okay. That level's done, on to the next one. 
And this one is Down Home Cooking. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toad roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? Huh, that seems simple enough. And with our upgraded roll ability, this should be even simpler. So in, anyways, in this area, we have to kill 50 chickens. But as Bentley said, watch out for the roosters that are... They look like they came from freaking Eggman Land. Just make sure they don't hit you and you should be fine. Whack 50 chickens within the time limit and bada bing bada boom, the reward is yours. Oh jeez. <clears throat> So obviously it is the best idea to have a lucky charm on hand, at least one or two of them. Because you're gonna need to be dodging chicken... <sighs> Dang it. You're gonna be dodging roosters as if, uh, as if your life depended on it. Also, there are no checkpoints in the level, so you don't need the fear of getting a game over. Which may end up be happening for me, but whatever. What can you do? In order to get rid of these bomb-wielding roosters, what you have to do is just get... make good... Blech. What you have to do is simple. Make them collide with one another, and they'll go boom. Just make sure they don't hit you in the process. And also, since this is a fairly early game within the... Well, ever. No, no, that's wrong. That is dead freaking wrong. Well, that wasn't fair. Ah, eh, whatever. Not worried so much about game overs. But as I was saying, zero lives counts as a life in this game, so zero lives means you've got one last chance. <clears throat> and as I said before, if you run out of lives, then, uh... Then you have to restart the stage. But really, it's not too bad. At least for levels like this. When it, there's no checkpoints whatsoever, there's no need to worry so much about getting a game over. Heck, it may even be advised at some points to do that. But, uh, of course you still don't want to get a game over no matter what. Okay, how was that fair? It's like the chicken didn't even hit me, and yet, uh... Yeah, I went boom. Gotta hate them freaking kamikaze chickens. Or roosters, whatever. Screw you. Okay, I'm probably gonna make a cut after this attempt if I fail again. Oh, at least I have a lucky charm this time as opposed to none. Good to know. So... Anyways, in this level, what is my opinion on it? Well, I like this level, but it can be difficult. You don't need to worry so much about the time limit mo for the most part. You just need to worry about surviving and keeping your butt intact from these freaking kamikaze roosters. <laughs> it's like Sly is working for a slaughterhouse. Really? It's that freaking extreme. Ten chickens left to go, actually less than that now. And we got 20 seconds left. Go away, you stupid kamikaze chickens, roosters, whatever. Goodbye. There we go. Levels complete. And for a reward, we get the key as promised. Nice. Okay, we're 55% done with the game as Sly glitches through the floor even more. 
makes sense. Seems legit. Also, you definitely want to whack those candles because that acts as a... It acts as a shortcut back up here. Did we get all, all of them? Yes, we did. Okay, not sure what I was thinking. I was thinking I somehow missed the level. Try jumping on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure. I'm sure it'll work to launch you up into Ms. Ruby's Skull Temple. Yeah, way ahead of you, buddy. Way ahead of you. Could feel that Koopa vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well. If jaws need to flap, then let them flap! See you in the next world, Slack Hooper! <laughs> ah, whatever. Anyways, time to fight Miss Ruby! In this fight, it's a unique one as opposed to the other ones that we've been through thus far. We don't necessarily. Okay, what the hell? Why did my spiral jump it? Why did that not work? Whatever. Take this. There we go. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant Chumley escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. This is the main reason why I love this stage. In this stage, we have to dodge uh, Miss Ruby's uh, bad mojo. Just, uh, whoop. Hey, hey all. Be sure to stay in rhythm. Overall, the fight is not hard. Once you complete the, once you complete the segment, just go over, whack Miss Ruby in the face, and you'll be transported to the next segment. Circle their X. Hmm. Pretty easy to stay in rhythm and stay in the fight. Okay, what the hell was that? I pushed the dang button. That was not fair. Alright, making the cut. See you guys back at the second segment. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, back in the second segment. Let's try this again. No, go! Is that me or is this fight harder than the uh, original? That's what it feels like. The reason? It seems that the game is a bit offbeat. Offbeat how? I don't know. Probably something to do with maintaining the uh, constant 60 frames per second. 
your guess is as good as mine. Alright, just a little bit more. Take that! Alright, time for the last segment. And this one, we're going to be riding on top of a freaking mosquito while dodging really fast attacks, so try to stay on beat as much as you can, even if the game doesn't want you to. So, looks like I'm, I'm going to be making another cut, so see you guys back at the final segment once again. Take that. Freak. Okay, back here again. <laughs> I usually can't dodge that one. There we go. Oh, that was a close one. Huh, huh, hi Okay, final blow, done! You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight and Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Whew! Wow! That was interesting! And that was also quite a lot of fun! Also, those rhythm games are a staple in the Sly Cooper series, much like many other things. And I love the fact that they bring it back at least once with every Sly Cooper iteration. And as I said before, for some reason in the HD re-release of this game, the game is offbeat, so the boss fight against Miss Ruby is harder. But eventually you'll get used to it. But it does take quite a bit of time, especially if you're transitioning from the standard def version to the HD version. And uh, I think it, this problem also occurs if you're playing the game on the emulator, on the PS2 version I mean, but I don't know for sure. Again, your guess is as good as mine. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. This is General Snivy with Let's Replay Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Next time, we're going to be heading off to the next area. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. Yes, indeed. Yes, they have. But, uh, yeah, next time we're going to be heading off to China and ha facing the next major boss who is going to be revealed in the next video. Also, Murray is playing with the uh, uh, paddle ball. That's it, paddle ball. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. Yeah, thanks. Whatever. Anyway, see you all later. 